Hi, in this video we are going to go through how to install Notepad++ that is part of the procedure you need to set up your programming environment and you can use Notepad++ for most programming languages the only thing is it is for Windows operating system only so make sure you are running a Windows operating system this is how you can use this video to find Notepad++, all you need to do is Google it. So this is a typical web browser, so you Google for Notepad++. You should be able to come into this URL. So make sure that the URL you're looking at is this one, notepad++.org. And it is for Windows operating system you can go to download you should be able to find a link that says notepad++ installer of course this page will change um, based on the date you're looking at but normally the notepad++ installer link can be found as the first link and they will say take this one if you have no idea what you should take so just click on this um, normally they will ask you whether you want to save or not so you say save file and it takes a while to download I have already downloaded the file so I don't need to save but for you you need to save the file and you can find the file in your download folder so this is what it looks like right click on it and say run as uh, administrator say yes English language okay next agree next default is fine next and this screen you can create a shortcut or things like that on the desktop that would be good and install so it's pretty fast it's a very small neat program and now you can run notepad plus plus So this is Notepad plus plus, and you can delete your installer now, so you don't you won't jam up your hard disk. So I'm going to close this. You can press the Control key and the, and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in, roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out, which is pretty neat. Let me close Notepad++ and I add it to my desktop. So it's here. So I can see all the options here. You can double click on it and you will see it. See that it is in your taskbar. Now you can pin this to your taskbar. So next time it's very easy for me to launch it. And you can use it to edit some of the files. For example, if you open up your Windows Explorer, your Windows Explorer, you click on your C drive. In TAM, we have our test.txt test file. We can right click on it and say edit with Notepad. We can use it to edit files. So you have installed Notepad and you can use it to write program now. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.